how do things look for you in the new system that you guys are, are running defensively? I mean, it's a different system from last year. Uh, new coaches came in, uh, different mindsets. But um, me personally, I think uh, I fit uh, well in the defense. I like the defense uh, overall. A lot of different uh, schemes and stuff that fit uh, me and uh, the rest of the team. So I think uh, this year will be a good year for me personally. meetings, anything that feels different this year that you guys are doing? I mean, it's a uh, different type of energy uh, they bring to the table where it's a positive energy. It's not like any, you know, no negative energy. It's um, mainly positive to get us uh, going. Like they'll come, uh, for example, they'll come up to us and like, let's go. Let's um, be great today today. So that, that, that um, personally will like trigger my mindset is, okay, let's be the um, best me and then um, make me perform at a, a higher rate. And then you feel like that's different from years past here, maybe that at a higher level? In yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of going off of that, you know, how does the new, you know, the atmosphere feel, you know, having, you know, Mike Loxley as coach, you know, how are guys, um, you know, you mentioned like kind of feeling a bit more fired up and things like that, just over any other, you know, things about the atmosphere that seem a bit different. I mean, I didn't know uh, Coach Lox uh, before uh, I got here, but, um, First meeting with him, he uh, just um, made, basically set a standard for us to uh, uh, be great. So um, I would say a uh, different atmosphere, yes, because uh, everybody got their own way of uh, motivating um, uh, our players. So uh, I would say the um, atmosphere has changed in a good way. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. So you get a charge of getting back out there and putting on a helmet? You guys look like you're having fun. Oh, yeah, it's good to um, play football again. I mean, we lift 24-7, so lifting, running, you get tired of that. So you just want to play football again. So um, being able to uh, go out there and put a helmet on, um, play with our uh, teammates, and just have fun out there and just uh, look forward to the uh, season, it's a great feeling, actually. Does it feel any different without uh, Darnell Savage, Savage out there, and are you kind of taking more of a leadership role? Uh, yeah, Darnell, uh, when I uh, got here as a freshman, he was actually my host. So uh, seeing him not out there with me is uh, different. But uh, me personally, I have to go out there and basically uh, uh, help others like he helped me uh, grow up. So I would say um, me personally, I'm a person that lead by example. So I'm going out there and um, basically motivating my players, to, uh, team, actually my teammates um, to uh, be great. In terms of Darnell, what what kind of mentor was he for you? What what what, what you know leader was he for this team? And and are, are are you at all surprised at how his stock is sort of blown up with the NFL combine and draft and everything? Uh, while Darnell was here, he was, he basically he towards the uh, later years he actually um, spoke up and basically like um, got us fired up um, before practice or um, before we take the field. But he's one of them um, guys that go out there and play his hardest. So seeing somebody else um, besides you play um, as hard as he do, it just make you want to be just like him or uh, better than him. And um, piggyback off the uh, draft, I'm not that surprised. He is because Darnell is a, a smart guy. Uh, I had a feeling he was going to um, put up the numbers he did, and then uh, on the field make uh, amazing plays. So I'm not uh, surprised after uh, his draft stop on uh, rising. Anton, obviously there's um, a few quarterbacks and a few wide receivers that will be joining the team you know, later on in the summer and for fall camp. But with the group of guys at both those positions that are here now, you know, as someone who plays in the secondary, what are you seeing from them? Are there any players in particular at quarterback or wide receiver that are standing out early on here? I mean, we have a great uh, set of receivers that uh, come to practice and um, they put their um, best foot forward. Um, 
but uh, I, I would say uh, Jay Sean Jones, he's one of them, them um, risers right now. I'm um, going out there every practice, putting his all into it and getting me better personally, tackling wise, coverage wise. He going out there, bringing his best moves. So I would say uh, he's one of those guys that's um, helping the, uh, the secondary get um, better. Right now, are you more in zone or man for practice? I mean, we play a lot of uh, things, to be honest. Like, we play a, um, a set of uh, man. We do a lot of zone. So it's not uh, no particular uh, uh, covers we play. We just uh, do it all right now. I'm um, getting into our installs and stuff. Wh which one are you? Are you more zone guy or man guy? It doesn't matter. I do it all, to be honest. Uh, I love man though. To I love man more because I stick. It's um I have the person. I have the guard. Just him. Instead of zone, you covering the whole field or your uh, particular zone. Yeah, more fun. When we when you look around the DB's room at this point, like who do you see that has made a pretty significant jump just over last year to right now? Um, I would say uh our um same room uh Jordan Mosley. He's one of those freshmen that got a lot of playing time um, his first year. But this spring so far, I think he's put in a, a, a good foot um, going out there um, every day trying to be great or better than um, the other. So it's um, getting me to bring my um, A game every day and just uh, basically getting everybody better around him. What's the biggest difference you see in Piggy this year? I'll say he's getting more confident uh, coming off the ACL injury. It's like a, an injury that's uh, really like it's all about the mindset. It's all about the mind, getting your body back right. But uh, I would say he's more confident um, getting into uh, the new offensive scheme. I, I feel like uh, the shotgun will fit him more. So I would say um, the scheme. And I know that, you know, a little while back, uh, you know, Coach obviously. Um, you know, helped out with the Jordan McNair fundraiser at Chipotle and like paid for a bunch of students' meals. You know, what did it mean to you guys to see your coach, you know, stepping in that role and, you know, supporting you guys in that way? It's an amazing feeling um, because he wasn't even uh, here uh, during the situation with uh, Jordan. But for him to uh, come here and still uh, support uh, the family, is uh, it just, it just uh, basically uh, attacked the heart and show us that he's here to help us help one another and get us up basically uh motivate us and um teach us just like we his sons so i would say um having another like a uh, father figure around is there a completely you talked about it earlier is there a completely different vibe from the from the uh, strength and conditioning guys in terms of the way they motivate you than there was you know with the previous coaching staff i mean uh I would say like uh, sort of, kind of, but at the same point, everybody has their different way of getting uh, somebody to uh, bring their end game. But I feel like this strength staff is uh, uh, doing it in a different way. What's it like when you're back there and all of a sudden you see McFarlane break through the line in those 11 on 11s? How good is McFarlane? Oh, he's a fast guy right there. He's definitely gonna be one of those guys playing at the next level. And seeing him break through the linebackers and basically the last line of defense it just had to uh, make me focus way harder and getting him to the ground. Do you have enough moves to get him? Of course, you have to. It, it's not you. You're not gonna say no. I'm my pride. My pride is very yeah. high. Yeah. So I'm gonna find a way to get him on the ground. But he's a, a great back could do, who could do it all. Third downs. Um. And any type of run game, he's he wanted those back. We have a few uh, bats that Ashley can do it too. Antoine, the uh, new recruiting class coming in has a lot of guys from the South. You're from the South. Um, so does it sort of like give you a little bit of pride that there's going to be a, a you know, not just local guys from mm -hmm. Maryland like Locks that wants to pull in, but also people from Florida, Georgia, etc. Oh yeah, that's a definitely uh, that's a great feeling right there. Having a couple of South Florida boys come here and um, basically like uh, have different type of vodka every state every city has their own vibe but fi uh, finally getting somebody up here that have similar uh vibe and um atmosphere who've been around the same atmosphere as me is a uh, amazing feeling thanks that's one thanks